Leonardo da Vinci said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Tension is who you think you should be. Relaxation is who you really are. Come on, cut up, Kyle. Here we go. Jeez. Toughness is not only what you can do to someone else, but it's how much you can take. <laughs> Who'd have thought Bobby Williams was a philosopher? Thanks, Coach A. I've been coaching 18 years with the same club, the Bengals. I don't find inspiration all the time through football. I find it everywhere. After a long day with a million things on my mind, I play the piano and I relax. Some guys work out, some guys play golf, some guys read the newspaper. You know, I play the piano. Very nice. Can we do it once more? Sure. The journey started four years ago. I have a daughter, Carolyn. Carolyn is a very talented musician. She started learning piano at the conservatory in Cincinnati with Albert Muehlbach. I looked up Albert Muehlbach on Google. My God, he's a, he's a, he plays all over the world. He's a concert pianist. He's teaching my fourth grade daughter how to play the piano. A concert pianist is a great performer. And I coach world-class performers. And I said, you know what? I want to learn the piano for one reason, to become a better football coach. That's it. A concert pianist has similarities to playing the game of football. You on this stage, this grand stage. If you mess up, it's no hiding it from anybody. Just like the game of football, you on national television in front of millions and millions of people. If you mess up, you can't take it back. You're on that stage. When our guys break the huddle, they clap their hands, they go up to the line of scrimmage, and the most important thing they do is they keep their focus in their area. It's no different than getting on stage to play the piano. You go out there, if you look at the audience, if you worry about how they like the music, you're gonna fail. But if you go out on stage and it's you against the piano, that's all, you'll be fine. I've told a lot of people that you don't know anything about football, but you'd be a terrific football coach. Don't exaggerate. Whenever you want to play loud, don't try to use force. Part of coaching is, is giving the perfect feedback that works. When he jumps, pitch for him. Nice. You knock him down, ice rough. A great example of something I learned from Albert through this training is a technique called the Alexander Technique. No relation. We're programmed to, you know, destroy, you know, punish. And he was saying for guys that really couldn't get the step right, just let it flow. Just let it flow. If I play the violin, instead of it being like that, you see the violin players, it's flowing and smooth. Coach Alexander is a unique guy because he believes in fine-tuning your game. And uh, for an offensive lineman that's just like playing the piano, technique is, is everything. Went on three. One, two, three, win! So that's what you do all day long. That's what I do all day long. <laughs> I've never really believed the stereotypes. I've never believed that, that football players were dumb jocks. I never believed that musicians were a bunch of softies. I believed that people were people. And that, uh, and that there's something to be gained through everyone and through everyone's accomplishment. I think we're put on this life with skills and gifts. And I think it's our responsibility to hone those skills and gifts and make the best out of them that, that we can. And when someone does that, it's a wonderful, wonderful moment. <laughs>